Guys, check this out. This is the Heldenplatz, our hero square, totally transformed for our great national art holiday tomorrow. Here we have a main battle tank. Here we have a Pandora 6x6. Then we have uh, what seems to be like recovery vehicle, Pioneers. Here we have a German Dingo, which is uh, specially adapted for uh, medevacs, medical evacuation. Over here we have another Pandor 6x6 with an automated turret. So now you can fire uh, smoke and uh, 50 caliber machine gun up there without even being going out of the loop. You can just operate it from within the vehicle. Here we have uh, another German Dingo, standard Dingo. They are good for all kinds of missions, uh, especially nuclear, biological, chemical missions. Here we have another recovery vehicle, uh, tracked vehicle. Here we have a self propelled uh, howitzer, artillery. And here we have like a big truck, 6x6. Six six. Here we have um, what we call a Schützenpanzer. It's pretty cool stuff here. I, I guess they brought out all the fancy gear for tomorrow. And uh, back to the Pandua 6x6. Six six. And on this side we have, believe it or not, our great American pride. We have a Blackhawk UH-64. We only have eight of those in all of Austria. There you go. UH-64 Blackhawk. Let's see what we got over here. So there's more dingoes. So obviously they're making a big emphasis on dingoes here and the new armor personnel carriers of the Bundeswehr. What is this here? This looks like an Iveco. Yeah. This is like an Iveco. That's an Italian-made, German-made. Yeah, this is big here. But of course, the most impressive thing is the helicopter is the most expensive shit, I guess, also. Now, isn't that a beauty? <clears throat> Check that out. Here, even protected with force with display of force right here UH-64 Blackhawk in all its glory look at that Oh, it's beautiful here. I've never seen the, I haven't seen the Hero Square here in Vienna for a long time like this. Look at that. National Library. They have all the tents up here where you can get food and snacks. Here's the main podium where they're gonna have uh, presentations, speakers, and look at that. I haven't actually seen this before, but obviously they're most worried about this helicopter. That's why they put a lot of. Uh, fire extinguishers up here and our man here right here uh, he's uh, with the standard issue Steyr AUG A1 same one I used back in my elementary service times 20 years back pretty much exactly 20 years back the only difference now is for whatever reason they are not wearing their Kevlar helmets they're just having a they're using their, their little cap I'd say and of course there's horse carriage for tourists as usual there's plenty of tourists here
as well. There's more Pioneer vehicles here. And usually they also have a little section for uh, air, aerial defense. Maybe they're not here this year around. So we have a small Pinskau vehicle right there, which is an Austrian favorite. Pinskau vehicle right there. This one is a 4x4. Okay, here we go. So this is a typical display of the Austrian usage for our aerial defense. So clearly you have like a, a vehicle that can deploy some kind of radar system for aerial defense. Let's see if there's anything more back this way. Black Hawk, visible here as well, from this side. So I guess this is uh, most of the equipment that will be on display for tomorrow on our national holiday. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video and a display of some of the vehicles, not all of it, but some of the main vehicles that are in use today in the Austrian Armed Forces. So here's just mostly more food and drinks entertainment stuff for tomorrow this is probably a command center of some sort they're being guarded here all right if you like this video if you enjoyed it please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one